Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to get everything set up for using MongoDB on your Mac. There's actually two things that we're gonna do. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to actually install uh, MongoDB on our computer, and then we're gonna install another program which is called MongoDB Compass, which is like a graphical user interface. So we can use both of those two programs together in order to learn about how Mongo works. So it's gonna be really cool. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and actually install uh, MongoDB. Uh, the easiest way to do this is by using a program called Homebrew. Now Homebrew is actually a package manager for Mac, which means that Homebrew is a program which helps you to install and manage and update other programs, right? So Homebrew is kind of like, uh, it facilitates the downloading and uh, installing of all these different programs. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, first we're gonna install that and then we're gonna use that to install MongoDB. Trust me, it's the easiest way to do it. So we're just gonna go ahead and do it that way. Um, if you already have Homebrew installed, then you can kind of skip over this part. But basically you're just gonna type in uh, Homebrew into Google and this page should come up. So it's actually really easy to install. All we have to do is um, just copy this text right here, make sure that you get all of it and we're just gonna come down to our terminal. So in my case, I have one open right here, or you can just go over to the search bar and type in terminal and that should open up. And you can just paste this into the terminal. And so um, just hit enter. You're probably gonna have to enter in your password, but this will go and install uh, Homebrew, which like I said, we can then use to install MongoDB. All right, once Homebrew is done installing, I'm just gonna type in clear here, we'll get a clear screen. Now what we wanna do is uh, we can basically install MongoDB. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say brew, just like that, and brew, say it's for Homebrew, and then we can say install MongoDB. And I'm just gonna hit enter, and now Homebrew is gonna go off and it's gonna do all the work for us to install and configure MongoDB on our computer. All right, so when that is done running, then again, I'm just gonna type clear, and we just wanna make sure that everything's working. So what you wanna do is just type in Mongo, like this, hyphen, hyphen, version, and as long as something pops up, then we should be good. So as long as you get uh, you know, a version number and all that stuff, that means that Mongo's installed, so we're ready to go with that. So now that that's installed, what we wanna do is we wanna install another program which is called Mongo Compass, and like I said, this is a graphical user interface for Mongo database. And we'll be using this just to kind of visualize everything that's going on in our database as we go through this course. So over here, I'm just gonna type in Mongo Compass, and you know this should pop up down here, so we just get this little guy here. There should be a button here, try it now, so we're just gonna go ahead and click that, and then there should be an option over here to download it. So we're gonna get the community edition, and the community edition stable, and then obviously just select the correct operating system, and then we can just click download. So like I said, we can just use this for visualizing all the different things that are going on in our database. And it's asking me to enter in like my email and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll be able to download it. All right, when that is finished downloading, we can just click on it and it should start opening up. All right, and all we have to do now is just drag it into our applications folder. All right, now that we have MongoDB downloaded the, the server and we also have Compass downloaded, there's a couple more things we have to do to kind of configure everything. So one thing we do have to do is we're gonna have to create a, um, a folder where MongoDB can store all of the files and you know basically all the databases that we create. So what I'm gonna do is open up my finder and what we wanna do is go to the root directory of our hard drive. You can just come up here to go and just click on computer right here and then just click on your hard drive and this will bring you to the root directory of your hard drive. So what you wanna do is we're gonna make a new folder here and it's just gonna be called data and then inside of this folder we're gonna make another folder which is just gonna be called db. And this is basically a folder structure that MongoDB is gonna need in order for it to run. So uh, like I said, you just wanna create this at the root directory of your hard drive. If you don't wanna create this folder at the root directory of your hard drive, you can actually create this same folder structure somewhere else. We're just gonna have to tell MongoDB that you put it somewhere else um, that's not here. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. All right, so once that uh, folder structure is created, if you wanna create that folder structure somewhere else that's not at the root directory of your directory of your hard drive you can just type in mongod like that mongo d and then hyphen hyphen db path and then put the path to that data directory so you know in my case i just created the data directory here at the root directory of the hard drive but if you create it somewhere else then you know you would just put in the path over here 
just to tell MongoDB where it is. All right, so once all of that is done running, then we can just start the MongoDB server just by typing in mongod like that and hitting enter. And as long as you set everything up correctly and made that folder, then you should basically get the server running. So now you can see that it's running here inside of the terminal. So uh, this right here is the Mongo like server process. So you don't wanna exit out of this terminal window, you just wanna minimize it. So now that that server is running, we actually want to open up another terminal window. So I'm gonna right click on the terminal down here. I'm gonna come down to new window. And inside of this new window, I actually want to connect to that MongoDB server. So I'm going to connect to the MongoDB server that we just set up from this new command line. And the way that you can do that is you can just type in Mongo like that hyphen hyphen host and then localhost and it's going to be port 27017. So this is going to be all the default information um, and then I'm just going to hit enter and this should connect us to MongoDB. So now you see I have this little like MongoDB shell open, and now I can actually interact with the MongoDB server. All right, so now that we have the server running and we also are connected to the server on another client, we are ready to start using MongoDB. So in the next tutorial, uh, we're just gonna start running some MongoDB code. I'll show you guys how to set up that Compass program that we downloaded and we'll go ahead and get started with all that. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.